What is an addiction society pretends is a necessity. Staying up late and waking up early. Some people are addicted to comparing their lives to others when they should really strive to be the best they can be. Trying to outperform others leads to endless frustration, but trying to outperform yourself leads to true improvement. 24 hours cable news. Working overtime and doing more work than the job description entails. Social media. Trying to look the best on social media. I don't get it and never will. Having to upgrade your electronics every couple of years. And expensive weddings. That shit is not normal. Caffeine. The entire, side, hustle culture. I understand the need, desire and do it myself too. But I find it insane that we need to monetize almost every waking moment. Consumerism. Consuming alcohol. Edit. Thank you kind stranger for the award. My first one ever. Woo. Sugar. Working extra hours for free. The organization will gladly let you work for free but absolutely shouldn't do it. Source. Team leader that protects my team from this. Oncoming fist light skin tone white heart. Alcohol. I'm so tired of people telling me I'm not living my life cause I don't drink. Unlimited growth. Five day work week. Relationships. It is okay to be alone. Weed. I'm a former stoner and honestly my life is much better sober. Yet so many people act like smoking weed all the time isn't really that bad and, it's basically medicine. Nah fam you're emotionally dependent. I still smoke occasionally but I don't miss weed being an everyday thing. Edit, my first gold. Thank you smile. Porn. Being in a romantic relationship, it feels almost like you need to be in one or you're lonely. Nicotine, I feel like I am one of the very few blue collar workers who does not use it. Alcohol. I'm a doctor and when I ask if someone smokes they say no, smugly. When I ask if they drink, they gush and joke about how happily they do so. Alcohol is pretty much the worst drug IMO. It's devastating. Working oneself to death. Having people validate you. Being too connected to friends or social media, you don't need to be constantly on your phone and stopping what you are doing every five minutes to look at your phone. Constant profit. It's called greed, and not only unnecessary but is extremely dangerous. It is not sustainable. Edit. A word. Debt. Coffee. Getting stuff delivered ASAP. Not as grandiose as some others in here, but coffee, caffeine. I'm not judging anyone who uses it, you do you, everyone has some addiction, but it's creepy how intricately tied it is to so many people's daily routines and socialization. Like people who claim to barely be able to think before their morning coffee. That seems like a serious addiction. Being a fully grown adult who knows exactly what they want todo and how todo it as soon as someone turns 16 18. Alcohol. It's really not necessary to have a fun and active social life. Yet it has tremendous PR glamorizing it, and of course prohibition didn't work. Yet research indicates that it's carcinogenic and that the industry knows this, like big tobacco, and doctors want it to have warning labels, like cigarettes. They get pushback from big alcohol for being a bunch of killjoys and nerds. But really it's because if more people knew about the cancer-causing effects they might not choose to imbibe. Fast, unhealthy food. Porn. The lotto. It's really fun to imagine what you would do if you won. If you're not blowing tons of money on it. That could be worth it right there. But it's so expensive, and your chances are like 0.0001 of winning something you can retire with. Watching the news. Sugar. Especially in America everything has to be sweetened. Cup of coffee, sweeten it. Water? PFFT no. Carbonated sugar water. Actually healthy baby food and snacks. Absolutely not. Add some sweetness to it. Sugar affect all aspects so bad to the point that society doesn't even consider snacks good or any foods to be tasteful unless there is some sort of sweet factor to it. Social media. Internet. Sugar. They've snuck sugar and high fructose corn syrup into everything because it's so cheap from government subsidies. Gambling compulsive gamblers tend to remember the highs of the wins and block out all the times they lose. The excitement of the next win distorts their reality and the level of risk they are taking with their money and possessions. 80% of adults have gambled at least once in the past year and although most people have a fun and healthy relationship with it, the safe zone for gambling is if betting losses result in an inability to meet your regular financial obligations or provoke illegal activity, then steps must be taken to change the destructive gambling behavior. Alcohol, completely unnecessary. Always buying anything that is new. Exciting. Better. What a crock of shit. Water in bottles. Why do we need this shit? Coffee. She says late for work in line at Duncan. Hustle culture. 
This rampant idea that everyone needs to be an entrepreneur is just annoying. People need to fucking take a break and chill. Shopaholic. Animal products and byproducts for any purpose. Work ethic. 